What's up everybody, I'm Sean Gill CPA with Neutron Tax. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to do your taxes if you receive the 1099 div, 1099 int, or the 1099 comp. Now, before we get into that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions throughout the video, just put them in a comment below. Subscribe, do all that stuff. It helps me grow my channel. Now, let's get into the actual video. So, the first thing you need to know about any of these things is what these forms even are. So, there's the 1099 div for dividend. This reports your dividend income. There's a 1099 int for interest. This reports your interest income from banks and investment accounts. And then there's the 1099 comp or 1099 composite. This just has your 1099 dividend and int built into it. I don't think saying int is the actual correct way to do it. That's just what I'm gonna say for this video. So your 1099 comp, which is kind of the most common form, will have all of these things listed as well as what's called the 1099B. This has your stock sales. Um, some people call this a 1099 barter. I'm not exactly sure what it stands for, but those are your main three to four 1099 forms. Now, what you need to do is get your 1099s and kind of take a look over them. These are gonna be reporting all of the income from any of your investment accounts or your bank accounts. So if you received more than $10 in interest from a normal bank account, a savings or a checking, a high yield savings, a money market, you'll get the 1099 int from that. If you have a brokerage account, let's say like a Fidelity or Robinhood or Vanguard, you'll have a 1099 dividend. This is any dividends that you've been issued, any foreign income from those dividends is broken out. All these different 1099s break out your various investment income into vast detail for the IRS and then report it to the IRS and then report it to you. Now I've had clients say, well, mine only shows like $3 in dividend income. Do I need to report this? Or like $4 in interest? Yes, if you received it, that means the IRS received a copy. Because the IRS received a copy, you need to report yours, otherwise there's gonna be what's called a matching error. If you wanna know how to get audited by the IRS, I have a video on what attracts audits. You can click the card and go take a look at that video. Now actually filing your tax return with these forms is relatively straightforward if you know how to read them. The interest will have a couple different boxes telling you where you got your interest. The dividend form will have a lot of different boxes breaking out your various dividends, qualified, non-qualified, 199A, foreign, all sorts of different things. And then the 1099B will have your stock sales by short term, long term, whether they know the basis, whether they don't know the basis, and then what your gain is. They also report wash sales, all that kind of stuff. If you have the 1099 comp, that form will encompass all of the other forms, okay? Now, if you dabble in crypto, you'll also receive a 1099 comp from most legitimate brokerages with kind of the same information. If not, you may get like a CSV file, in which case you have to kind of make your own, um, which I highly recommend at that point getting a tax professional because chances are you're gonna mess that up and you just don't wanna get into that. But once you have your 1099 comp, you report the actual income on the form 8949 as far as the stock sales. And then the 8949 can be summarized on the schedule D on your tax return. So these are all extensions of the original personal tax return that you're filing, which is the form 1040. For the 1099 interest, you will file that, or you will show that on the schedule B on your form 1040 and then the um, dividends are shown on the actual first page of the tax return uh, on the form 1040 right under like wages from your w-2 and all that kind of stuff now if you have a cpa or a tax repair which i highly recommend because once you have a couple different brokerage accounts and you start getting all of this income it's very easy to miss reporting certain accounts or certain 1099 divs or interests or barters uh, 1099b sales you know you can easily miss class, short term and long term, port the wrong basis, the wrong dates acquired and sold, and change your gain on accident, pay a lot more in tax than you need to, or just miss something and trigger a mismatch issue with the IRS, which then again can lead to an audit. I highly recommend hiring a tax professional. Reading the forms is, is its own challenge, but knowing what to do with the actual income is different. Once you have these forms, you can just input them into your tax software if you are filing your taxes on your own or just hand them over to your professional. If you want me to prepare your taxes or you have any questions you wanna to talk to me about directly, there's a link in the description below where you can book a call with me and we can give you a quote to prepare your taxes 
and go over what that looks like. For our clients, they typically have multiple brokerage accounts, so these 1099s really stack up. An average 1099 comp is at least 15 pages. I've seen ones that are hundreds of pages, depending on what you're invested in. Abroad, local, you know, um, national, there's just a lot of things that can go in there. But this is what a 1099 div int and comp was and how to report that income. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave your questions in the comments and I will catch you in another one. Oh, and subscribe. All right, peace. So that was the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, it helps me grow the channel. If you need help with your taxes, you can book a call with me directly at the link below in the description. And you can also sign up for our email list. We only send out an email about once a month and that's everything I need to tell you. So I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out, peace, have a good day. Appreciate the views.